So, um, Nazis being employed by NASA is actually rooted on some uh, true life events and persons, mainly uh, Operation Paperclip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I was wondering, does knowing this historical fact change your approach to the film or cultures in any form or way whatsoever? No. Uh, it's nice that it's based on something historical, in the sense that we don't have to defend that part of it. Uh, but, but no, it doesn't really change it. I mean, it's, it, I've known about that for decades. I'm old. Uh, but it wasn't only the States, it was the Soviet Union as well. The UK took some of them. And they all just agreed on uh, nothing bad happened in the past. Let's just start all over again. Uh, so it's part of our history that um, we should deal with someday. <laughs> Okay, now on to your cultures. Uh, boy, I, I read in some interviews that you've described uh, Kleber to be uh, Jürgen's lapdog. So, mm. do you please award on the importance of such cultures uh, on a building? I don't know, uh, it's the main henchman. Are you his uh, Igor to his Frankenstein? <laughs> How would you describe it? I like that. Igor to his Frankenstein. <laughs> I like that a yeah. lot too, yeah. Yeah, that's fitting. Um, yeah, you know, I think there it's just everything is every character has such a specific role. Nothing's sort of over wasted or underused in the film. Um, and you don't want to get your hands dirty. It doesn't really help. He can't. He's he's, too, he's a busy guy. He's very busy. And he's, he's older, so you need uh, you know. A, a a a dumb lapdog to go out there and, and get it done but yeah he's busy with world dominance yeah <laughs> so, somebody's got to do it somebody's got to do it you know? <laughs> yeah. you know, and talking about union uh you know that uh nazis are like the universal villains that people love to hate you know sure. uh so we're, we're preparing for that what sort of nuances did you look for so as not to make him like the one size fits all Nazi? Well, he doesn't run around uh, doing Nazi stuff all the time and saying Nazi things. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> hidden in little subtle things. Uh, I think one of the best ways that we show what kind of ideology he has is one of the first scenes where he has with this waiter who comes to to, to the hotel. A very fine written scene, uh, subtle. And, and also very icy at the same time. It, it, I thought that was kind of captured the character in many ways. So, so, so I kind of based a lot from, from that scene. Yeah, he's blending in his new lifestyle. He's blended in, but <laughs> it's also a surprise that <laughs> this man can touch his papers without permission. Uh, yeah, that's, that's I, fun. I like that very much. Uh, and guys, you know, of course, any Indiana Jones adventure uh, relies on a MacGuffin or a mystical object that is somehow rooted on some sort of reality or, or piece of history. Uh, is there any such objects that you can think of that you would like to go after yourself hmm. in search of? Yeah. Tell us. I mean, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of things. There's, there's the... Um, the mathematics that was developed out of Egypt, I, you know, I mean, these things are endless. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, had, I had one, that I, there is a special samurai sword that got lost right after the Second World War. There was actually six that ended up in the, some Americans' hands and they got lost. And they're from the most famous swordsmith. Uh, uh, and I would like to get my hand on that one, figure out why it ended. Chop some cheese? Yeah. You know, thing, 600 years old. So far away. Uh, sounds like they could have a movie of, of its own. <laughs> well, and finally, what are your thoughts on finally being part of such a legacy of film, of films, this franchise, you know, being the cultural icon that it is? I'm good. I'm wrapped up. This wraps up my career. I'm going to use this <laughs> no. interview to say I'm retiring <laughs> from it. acting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> done it all. I'm at the top. I'm going to go out on top. Yeah. It's a good, uh, it's a good thing to go <laughs> on, right? On the bucket list. Um, I think we're just really proud to be part of this one. And this one, let's say it's the last one. I have a hunch it is. I think it's a beautiful wrap up, uh, and, and we 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 played a little part in that, which was an honor. Guys, thank you very much. It's been an honor talking to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.